Hey everyone, Hudson here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing my process for how I write on multiple platforms at once without burning out. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to do so below and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new posts. I'm making a short video every single day in addition to these long videos every week. So let me know in the comments what you're interested in, confused about, or would just like my perspective on, and I'm happy to make a video for you. My goal for this channel is to offer a helping hand to writers who need it. So anything at all, let me know in the comments and I will make a video for you. With that said, let's get into it. There comes a time in every creator's journey where they reach what I like to call the tipping point. It's a point in which they're making enough money to be able to outsource some of their energy. It's a long climb to get to the tipping point, but once you arrive there, things get easier. I currently haven't reached the tipping point, so I'm doing everything myself. My current schedule is a little insane. I write on five different platforms. I write articles on Medium. I post on LinkedIn. I tweet every single day. I send out a weekly newsletter email. I create products on Gumroad. And now I'm making YouTube videos every single day on this channel. Here are five philosophies I use to create mass amounts of content across multiple platforms without burning out. The first is a habit I call everything, everywhere, all at once. For years, I stored ideas for articles in my notes app, only for them to pile up and be forgotten. Over the years, I've learned that transferring content from one platform to the other is something I just won't do. I need to have access to all of my content at all times. Everything I have on desktop also needs to be available on mobile. I like to think of ideas as little butterflies. It's important to have a net to capture them. I use an app called Notion that allows me to store all of my ideas. I've created a custom workspace, which is currently on pre-sale. I will leave the link to it in the description below. Since Notion is a free app, you can make your own workspace or system for free. Anytime an idea comes to me, I make sure to capture it. Because if there's anything I've learned, it's that ideas, just like butterflies, won't stick around for very long. The next is a principle I call one thing at a time. It sounds simple, and it really is. I try my very hardest to structure my life in a way where I'm only focused on one thing at a time. In the past, scientists thought that we could remember up to seven things at a time. Now, we've discovered that three to five is a more accurate number. It's called your working memory. So I try my very hardest to live within my working memory. Having a net for ideas helps with this because I'm not storing information in my brain. It's one of the main reasons why I love to write and prioritize expressing myself over everything else. There's a great quote from David Allen's book, Getting Things Done, that says, brains are meant for thinking, but not storing ideas. This helps me be much more efficient in my writing, more productive, and for my content to be much more inspired. Acronyms are also a huge part of my system. I rely heavily on acronyms as I don't like to remember more than I can hold in my working memory. I make acronyms for everything, for big goals, ongoing tasks, or my day-to-day to-do -day to list. Acronyms embody a common technique mental athletes use to remember extremely detailed pieces of information called chunking. Essentially, you're organizing your thoughts into a series of doors in which each acronym represents. For example, in the past, I used to spend a lot of mental energy remembering what platforms to post on, strategy for each of them, and what I wanted my vision to look like. So instead of having to remember, I post on LinkedIn, I write on Medium, and I need to tweet and do a newsletter. I encompass everything into a five letter max acronym. For example, my entire writing business can be summarized into a four letter acronym, LTMO. That stands for LinkedIn, Twitter, Medium, and Other. This alone saves me tons of mental energy. I have it written on my whiteboard, stored in my Notion app, and anytime I think about my vision or my business, I just remember those four letters. Acronyms can also be used for your daily to-do list. If, for example, your day-to-day consists of working out, responding to emails, posting on LinkedIn, or writing a new article, and sending out a newsletter email. 
you can summarize it with the acronym W-E-P-A-N. Instead of attempting to remember each intricate detail of your day, you just have to remember that five-letter acronym. If it helps, you can write down the details of each task in your content or mental vault, and so you can let your conscious mind forget about it. Next is a concept I like to call the rule of fives. Five is my favorite number. To me, it represents balance, not reaching outside of your boundaries, and keeping everything to what you can hold in one hand. This means my to-do lists, my goals, the number of platforms I create content on at any given time. I keep everything to a maximum of five, and if anything I do begins to exceed five, I condense it using acronyms. This is another way I keep my mind clear and stop myself from feeling overwhelmed. When I first started writing, I worked a full-time job. And writing, coming up with tweets, and remembering to respond to comments felt overwhelming to me. Keeping everything in my life to a maximum of five has allowed me to stay within my working memory and stay present in everything I do. The last principle that's really helped me to organize my life, my mind, and my content is to keep everything on one page. This is along the lines of everything else I've been saying throughout this video. Although it may be tempting to have a complex network of Google Docs, calendars, and reminders, I like to keep everything I'm doing on one page. Notion really helps me to do this. To recap, creating mass amounts of content online can feel overwhelming if you don't have a system in place to organize your mind. Here are the five main principles I use to remain mindful whilst creating way too much content every single month. Keep everything everywhere all at once. And anything you can access on desktop also must be accessible on your mobile device. Ideas are like butterflies. Make sure you have a net to capture them. One thing at a time. Cater everything you do in your life to be able to be mindful and present. This could be by making to-do lists, taking time to breathe, or simply remembering to forget, knowing that your subconscious will remember what's important. Use acronyms to keep your mind clear and keep them to a maximum of five letters. Think of acronyms as doors to rooms holding more detailed information. The rule of fives. Keep everything in your life to a maximum of five. This promotes balance and this stops you from attempting to hold on to too much information. Remember, your brain is great for thinking, not storing ideas. Lastly, keep everything in one spot. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I really hope these tips help you live and create more mindfully. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe below and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. That's it for me. I'll see you tomorrow.